In this session, I shall continue the differential equation discussion where non exact differential equations will be reduced to the uh, exact differential equations and how to solve such converted non exact into exact differential equations. And then finally, if initial conditions are given, then we can find out the values of the constants of integration. This is what in the uh, lecture I am going to cover. So, the non exact differential equation. First of all, you recall that what is the meaning of exact and where this exact fails and when we are going to attempt and what types of uh, solution procedures in non exact differential equations we are going to study. That is what the uh, present discussion now. A non exact differential equation will be with the partial derivatives uh, we are calculating where they are not equal to each other. In the, in the previous discussion, exact differential equation we have discussed, the standard form of non-exact ODE, non-exact differential equation, you take the standard differential equation as done x comma y dx plus n x comma y dy equal to 0. Here m and n are functions of x comma y, they are not constants. Then this is the equation 1, if del m divided by del y is not equal to del m by del x. We discussed in the previous case where both these values are equal to each other. But in the present case, when we want to say the given differential equation is said to be not exact, then these values are not same. It implies ODE 1 is not exact. ODE 1 is not exact differential equation. Then the solution of 1 will be with the following types. With the following types. That means nature of the differential equation, how it appears, accordingly we write the solution. For example, the first type, uh, we consider the differential equation which is of homogeneous, that is the type 1, type 1, let m dx plus n dy equal to 0 be the homogeneous and homogeneous and non exact ODE. Non exact ordinary differential equation. Then with the condition with the condition that is x into m plus of y into n is not equal to 0 because this term we are going to consider in the calculation of uh, integrating factor where the integrating factor plays a major role in converting non-exact into exact differential equation. Then non-exact ODE can be converted can be converted into exact ODE by finding integrating factor
integrating factor short form we write i of as i of is equal to 1 divided by x into m plus y into n this is the integrating factor in the type 1 that means type 1 we want to make an analysis with respect to the given differential equation which is said to be non-exact in the type 1 what type of differential equation we expect as it must be homogeneous and also it is said to be non-exact differential equation because immediately your question may be there when once it is homogeneous then why don't we apply the procedure what we adopted in homogeneous differential equation what is the procedure we had taken in homogeneous putting y equal to vx and x equal to vy example example you can think like this x square into y dx plus of x into y square dy is equal to 0. This is a homogeneous differential equation. Then for to solve this one, already you studied this method. To solve this one, put y is equal to vx and dy equal to v into dx plus x into dv. This was the procedure. Then it, uh, it was reduced. If you use these values, in the given differential equation which was homogeneous already you have studied then that equation was reduced to separation of variables when once it was separation of variables then last step was uh, inter taking the integration and then writing the solution but here also we expect in non exact differential equation should be of homogeneous and should be non exact differential equation that comes under type 1 then this integrating factor what you have to do next you have to multiply this integrating factor then multiply multiply i of 2 4 dv 1 so that 1 becomes exact 4d 1 becomes exact ODA. when once you arrive at the conclusion that is exact differential equation then already in the previous uh, method you have studied what is the solution procedure exact ODE then solution is given by solution is given by m dx here y is constant then integration n x comma y terms free from x terms free from x it is dy equal to constant that is integration mxy dx plus nxy dy equal to c here y is constant here terms free from x therefore this is the solution for type 1 then what is in the type 2 Otherwise, I shall solve the problem on type 1, then I shall discuss on type 2. So, one sample of example let me take in type 1, then we shall uh, discuss on type 2, then problem I shall consider there itself. Otherwise, uh, only all the methods uh, theoretically if we discuss, then chances are there, uh, confusions will arise. So, to avoid that, let me take an example of uh, uh, type 1. Solve x square y minus 2 into x y square dx minus of 
x cube minus 3 x square y it is dy equal to 0 then the first step is you have to verify whether it is said to be exact or non exact ok then uh, this, may, this will be rewritten as the differential equation because minus is that you have to write it as plus sign <coughs> x square y 2 times x into y square it is dx plus of minus x cube plus of 3 x square y it is dy equal to 0. So, now it is in the form of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. This is nothing but m x comma y dx plus n x comma y dy equal to 0. Then what is m? m of x comma y equal to x square y minus 2 times x into y square. Then n x comma y equal to minus x cube plus 3 x square y. Then you take the differential for this. That means del m divided by del y is equal to with respect to y you have to differentiate m with respect to y and you compare the value where n with respect to x is taken for differentiation. Here it is x is constant. Then what is the differentiation with respect to y? It is x square ok and this is minus with respect to y means minus 4 times x into y and del n by del x here y is constant that is equal to with respect to x minus 3 times x square and plus of 6 times it is x y that means del n by del y both values are different is not equal to del n by it is del x. Here you can clearly say that the given differential equation is said to be not the exact differential equation. Then what is to be done here? And this is also homogeneous because uh, m dx plus n dy equal to 0 here x square means degree 2 and y degree 1 together it is 3 and here x degree 1 and y degree 2 together, together it is 3 and here x degree 3 and here it is 2 1 that is together it is 2 plus 1 together it is 3. Therefore, throughout the differential equation in the given uh, problem all the terms are representing the same degree. The basic requirement for the type 1 to be solved basic requirement is it should be homogeneous differential equation. It should be homogeneous differential equation means all the terms are representing the same degree throughout. Then uh, you have taken uh, it is homogeneous and also it is said to be not exact implies ODE 1 is said to be is said to be non exact ODE 1 is said to be non exact therefore integ uh, then ODE 1 will be converted otherwise will be reduced to exact by finding the integrating factor. Integrating factor. Then, when once you find the integrating factor, 
afterwards you multiply the then multiply i of that is integrating factor in short form i of we call multiply i of to ode 1 1 so that so that it becomes exact ode it becomes exact ode then what is the value of this now what is the uh, integrating factor that is integrating factor i of is equal to 1 divided by x into m plus y into n x into m that is y into n the first integrating factor uh, type 1 type 1 otherwise first type takes the integrating factor whatever the values of m and n you have identified and respectively you multiply by x and y and arrange uh, x into m plus y into n in the denominator for finding the integrating factor as 1 divided by that quantity therefore i of is equal to that is 1 divided by x into m m means x square y minus it is 2 x into y square 2 x into y square and this is plus sign plus of y into plus of y into minus x cube plus 3 times x square y what the simplification you are getting you verify that then i here otherwise here itself you can do i here equal to 1 divided by all the terms you release the brackets you take x multiplication here then x into x square should be x cube y minus 2 times x square y square Minus y into x cube and plus of three times x square into y square. That is x cube y. This one and x cube y. I think you can cancel these two. Then you are getting one divided by it is x square y square. This is called integrating factor to the uh differential equation where it comes in the type 1 then what is our next job we need to convert or we need to reduce non exact into exact by multiplying this integrating factor next multiplying multiply by i of 2 whole e 1 to ODE one to reduce to exact form to reduce to exact form that is one divided by it is x square y square one divided by x square y square and multiplied by x square y and minus 2 times x into y square it is dx plus of 1 divided by x square y square that should be minus x cube and plus of 3 times x square y and it is dy equal to 0 so this is uh, the requirement for converting non exact into exact differential equation let us verify after taking the possible simplification that is 
1 divided by x square y square, you take multiplication to each term. That is 1 by x square y, sorry, x square y divided by x square y square. So, x square, x square cancels y divided by y. That is 1 by y. And here, x into y square. x into y square means minus of 2 divided by x remains. Okay. And dx and plus of verify this x square y square x square y x square cancels y by y square and x square y square with this y square cancels x by x square minus 2 divided by x is there and take this term inside that is x cube is there x divided by y square minus this is the term remains and plus of x square cancels then 3 divided by y and then dy equal to 0. Then what you have to do? Uh, you have to verify. Now we claim that this equation becomes exact differential equation. Whether it is uh, converted to exact or not, we will have to check this. Uh, what is the condition to check? Those derivatives values must be same. That is del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. So now we claim that let m x y here 1 by y minus 2 by x <coughs> then del m by del y what is the value that is minus 1 by y square this one because second term is 0 only with respect to y you are differentiating keeping x as constant so this term becomes 0 1 by y differentiation becomes minus 1 by y square then minus 1 by y square for m then n x comma y z equal to it is minus x divided by y square plus of 3 by y is there then del n by it is del x z equal to del n by del x z equal to minus 1 divided by it is y square minus 1 by y square minus 1 by y square here we can declare del m by del y is equal to del n by it is del x that is equal to minus 1 by it is y square this clearly says it is exact ODE it is the exact differential equation then when once it is converted to exact differential equation then what is our job our job is to write the solution for that exact differential equation then solution for 2 ODE 2 which is the ODE this is equation which is exact exact ODE we have to write the solution for this, then the solution is given by integration of the two terms. What is that? That is integration, integration uh, del m by del y, that means, uh, sorry, m is equal to this, integration 1 by y minus it is 2 by x, 1 by y minus 2 by x dx. Here we will claim y is constant plus of integration. In the second integration, terms free from terms free from x. Which are those terms? Here in this terms free from x means 3 by y. Therefore, 3 by y into dy is equal to constant. Then Integration you have to do that term by term 1 by y that is x by y minus of 2 times it is 1 by x means log x integration 1 by x is log x then here with respect to y plus 3 times log of y is equal to constant this is what the solution for the type 1 equation of the type 1 that is the solution. Now, equation of the type 2. 
let me solve extra problems later. Now, let me define the type 2. What is that uh, type 2? How that type 2 we are going to expect? To find the integrating factor. Type 2 ODE non-exact non-exact to find IF let the ODE be of the form be of the form as y into that is uh, f of x y is a product type should be dx plus uh, x into g of x y it is dy equal to 0 that is y into f of x into y form and x into g of x into y form that means inside it is product form but there must be y outside and x outside therefore if this is set to be for example this is equal to 1 ok then it is set to be non-exact and also only of this type then the integrating factor Integrating factor B 1 divided by x into m minus y into that is n. This is what the integrating factor where this denominator when x into m minus y into n is not equal to 0. This is the condition we are going to impose. So, in the type 2 we consider the differential equation y into f of x into y dx plus x into g of x into y dy equal to 0. Then the integrating factor will be 1 divided by x into m minus y into n. On multiplying, on multiplying, multiplying this i here on multiplying this i f to which equation to the equation 1 to the equation 1 then it becomes then it becomes exact od so this is the coming in type type 2 that means it is easy to identify when I solve the problem we will come to know and uh, most of the clarifications you will get when I solve the problem. This is what the theoretical part you have to remember. In the first case uh, where the coefficients of dx and dy must be of the homogeneous type and also additional uh, condition is non-exact. But in the second type uh, these terms must be the coefficients must be x into y form and then respectively they must be multiplied by y and they must be uh, second term must be multiplied by x. Afterwards integrating factor you have to con uh, find out and then integrating factor will be multiplied to uh, a equation given equation then given equation becomes that is given equ equation becomes a non, a non a, which was non exact and it will be reduced to the exact differential equation. Then. Uh, I will take one example on this, afterwards another type we discuss, that is the problem is like this, in the type 2, solve, y into <coughs> xy plus solve 2 times x square y square it is dx plus of x into xy x into xy minus 
x square y square it is dy equal to zero the problem is like this solve y into x y plus 2 into x square y square plus x into x y minus x square into y square dy equal to zero uh, this is the problem exactly matching with uh, y into f of x y that means this is a function f of x y means this is the function what is this function then this function will be y into x y plus 2 into x square y square 2 into x square y square is nothing but this is a product and this is a product this is a product and this is a product so totally four terms are exactly all the four terms are of the same type of products that is what the general form of the differential equation which is given and then we can easily compare with the type 2 and then solution procedure we can apply so what is that now you have to solve this differential equation now let m x comma y that is y into uh, x y plus 2 times x square y square y into x y 2 times x square y square that is x into y square plus 2 times x square y into implies del m by del y is equal to with respect to y 2 times x y plus uh, with respect to y means it is 6 times it is x square y square and n x comma y that is uh, once once per all you take this x inside should be x square y minus of x cube it is y square x cube y square then del n divided by del x equal to 2 times of x y minus 3 times of x square y square then implies both the terms del m by del y uh, and del n by del x are not same these values ok so your conclusion is del n by del y is not equal to del n by del x this is uh, equation 1 sorry this is equation 1 then uh, 1 is non-exact equation 1 is said to be non-exact ODE when the equation 1 is said to be non-exact ODE then you have to find the integrating factor and then multiply that integrating factor to that given differential equation so that it will be converted to exact differential equation ok then what is this integrating factor integrating factor is uh, I F i of is equal to that is x into m x into m 1 divided by x into m minus y into n so x into m means x into m we have taken like this that is uh, sorry uh, yes x into m that is m m x y is equal to total value this one x into m minus y into n that is 1 divided by you multiply this uh, whole quantity uh, with x therefore this comes to be 2 times sorry this comes to be uh, here you have to multiply with x x square y square and 2 times x cube 2 times x cube y cube and minus of minus of these two terms multiplied by y therefore minus of x square y square and minus minus plus that becomes x cube and then it is y cube then 
I can cancel this term so that simplification comes to be 1 divided by here this is 1 divided by these two terms will cancel x cube y cube and 2 times this one so that is 3 x cube and y cube 3 x cube and y cube that is the integrating factor and you know, equation 1 you have to multiply integrating factor for what purpose you are multiplying to the equation 1 it is to be converted into exact differential equation therefore ODE 1 into IF gives ODE 1 into IF gives That is ODE 1 into IF. So, this is ODE 1 and into IF means 1 divided by that much. So, I will, I will take like this only that is Y into it is X into Y plus of 2 times X square Y square whole divided by 3 times X cube it is Y cube and DX and plus of that is x into plus of x into x y minus x square y square all divided by 3 times x cube and y cube dy equal to 0. Now the possible simplification I will take then x into y square x into y square if I take here ok uh, x into y square divided by 3 times x square uh, 3 times x cube y cube 1 term plus of 2 into x square y cube 2 into x square y cube divided by it is 3 x cube y cube whole thing with multiplication of dx plus x square y divided by 3 times x cube y cube 3 times x cube y cube and minus minus x cube it is y square x if you take inside and divided by 3 times x cube y cube and the whole thing multiplied by d1 equal to 0. Now you solve this, uh, sorry, take this possible simplification and then you verify whether these uh, terms m and n will give the condition to be satisfied for exact differential equation. Then what are these things? Possible simplification is x into y square we can cancel so that 1 divided by x into y square means 3 times x square y remains on top y square y cube y and x by x cube x square plus saw plus saw 2 times 2 by 3 it is there and x square y cube y cube cancels x square that means 2 divided by 3x remains it is dx and plus of plus of here x square cancels and y cancels ok so x square cancels means y cancels 1 divided by 3 times x into y square I think minus minus 1 divided by 3 x cube cancels 1 divided by 3 y it is dy equal to 0. This is uh, equation number 2 ODE. Now I claim this, this equation is said to be exact. For your confirmation, whether this equation is said to be exact or not, you can verify 
the values of del m by del y and del n by del x. If those two values are same, then you can say that the equation number 2 which was converted from non-exact to the exact is said to be uh, satisfying the condition. Let us verify. Del m, sorry, uh, m of x comma by x is equal to 1 by t x square y plus 2 by 3x implies del m by del y. What is that? With respect to y, differentiation is minus 1 divided by 3 times x square y square. And this is 0. Okay, that's all. And n, x comma y uh, equal to 1 by 3 x into y square. Okay, and minus 1 by 3 y. So, with respect to x, I think minus sign somewhere we left. Okay, we we'll check that. Here, this is y with respect to this one, and this is with respect to x. Okay, uh, this is 1 divided by 3 x y square. Here, x square y square. Okay, then this gives the derivative del n by it is del x with respect to x minus 1 divided by 3 x if you take to numerator that gives minus 5 and then y square second term is 0 because we are doing differentiation with respect to x both are same implies ODE uh, 2 is uh, exact. So it is shown that that differential equation which was declared as non-exact and matching with the type 2 is converted to exact differential equation. Now what is the next step? You have to write the solution for this differential equation. Okay, what is the solution now? We are going to choose the solution step is then the solution is given by Solution is given by integration that is as it is you have to write 1 divided by 3 times x square y plus of 2 divided by 3x and it is dx here y is constant according to exact differential equation procedure we have to solve the differential equation plus integration terms free from x that is minus 1 by it is 3y and dy is equal to constant. So, only with respect to x you have to integrate, take this term to the numerator that is minus 1 divided by 3 into x uh, y and with respect to x means plus 3 by 2 sorry 2 by 3 and then it is log x then it is log x minus 1 by 3 should be log y is equal to constant. This is what the solution as per the type 2. So, as per the type 2 the solution procedure is uh, you have to do the differentiation first and then you verify whether it is going to match with uh, a non-exact differential equation or not and then whether it is matching of the type 2 if it is so then integrating factor you have to convert because the purpose main purpose of uh, taking the integrating factor is multiplying the calculated integrating factor to the given differential equation that is going to be converted to uh, converted as non exact into exact differential equation then what is the next uh, type of uh, solving the differential equation that is in the type uh, 3 that is type 3 and type 4 let me introduce. Type 3, it is non exact ODE. So, 
find integrating factor how to uh, in any type uh, the non exact differential equation will be reduced to the exact you have to find out the integrating factor but finding the integrating factor will be of different type depending on the type of nature of the differential equation appear depending on the nature of the differential equation appeared means here we have such types of differential equations will be type 1 type 2 as we have discussed already now type 3 will be of this type consider m x comma y dx plus of n x comma y dy equal to zero m dx plus n dy equal to zero if del m by del y is not equal to del m by del x that is equation one you can write it is non exact ode in this case non exact ode then non exact ode then in the type 3 we shall discuss like this if then if 1 divided by n del n by del n by del y minus del n by del x you take the difference between these two derivatives and if it is dividing by the second coefficient in the given equation that is n which is multiplied by dy is equal to we expect here that is function of x alone this implies function of x alone function of x alone such that function of x alone such that the integrating factor the integrating factor is given by is given by i f is equal to e to the power integral what is this function f x dx function of x alone means here you have to expect uh, with the condition that y should not be there the term y should not be there the symbol y should not be there even if it is a constant when once you uh, divide this difference with the term that is second coefficient of the differential equation it should be treated as function of x alone then when it is a function of x alone it may be a constant or it may be in terms of x therefore well, why why term in the absence of y you have to discuss when n is divided then the integrating factor will be like this and you have to multiply this integrating factor <coughs> to the equation 1 then 1 into i of gives exact ode 1 into i of gives exact differential equation then when once it is exact then the solution is the solution is given by as usual you are taken integration of the first term keeping y as constant plus integration of second term keeping uh, terms free from x integration that is m uh, x comma y dx plus integration n x comma y dy that is equal to Const constant your terms free from x terms free from x in the second integration and here y is constant same procedure as we solved in the previous first exact and also type 1 and type 2 when any differential equation is converted to exact 
then you need to follow this procedure. So under this, I shall give the problem and we shall solve how this procedure is going to be applied in solving the differential equation. This is in the type 3 I am going to take. Solve x square plus y cube plus 6x, it is dx plus y square into x, it is dy equal to 0 at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. They have attached the initial condition that means you can write the uh, final solution of the differential equation uh, by finding the value particular value of the arbitrary constant. So that is what uh, the uh, suggestion it is given. Let us check how this uh, values will play a role in finding the value of the constant. Okay. Now first of all you have to verify what are the values of del m by del y and del n by del x. Let if you treat this, anyway it is with plus sign, if you treat this equation as 1 as this, uh, that is x square plus y cube plus 6x plus y square x, okay, this is m, okay, then m will be, uh, sorry, this is n, m will be m x comma y is equal to x square plus y cube plus 6x, then what is del m by del x? This is 2x plus 6 and del n by it is, I am sorry, this is del n by del y, del n by del y, here x is constant, that is 3y square and del n by del x, uh, where n is equal to y square x is there. With respect to x means it is y square. Then, anyway, uh, here uh, y is constant. Here del m by del y is not equal to it is del m by del x. Then, 1 is non exact. We can treat like this. Equation 1 is said to be non exact. Then, what is the procedure? You have to find the integrating factor and make this non exact into exact differential equation. Let us see how this non exact will be converted to exact differential equation. Consider del m by del y minus del m by it is del x equal to del m by del y minus del n by del x equal to 3 y square minus of y square that is a 2 y square. Now you have to make a careful observation. Uh, we cannot go or we cannot think uh, every equation comes under type 3 or 4 or 1 or 2 like that. Now in this type when the difference when you are going to take, it gives the clue that this term can be perfectly divided in order to release one symbol and to retain another symbol. Either you divide by the value of m or divide the value of n. It is anyway uh, easily you can make out m, m is not going to support. Therefore, n is going to support y square can be cancelled when you take the uh, division that is uh, with respect to n. Okay. That is, uh, what is n value here? n is y square dx. m is this value. Okay. Let. That is, uh, that is only the general observation you have to make out. After taking the difference, it can be divided by which term? That's all. Then, uh, let 1 divided by m del m by del y minus del n by del x equal to 2y square 
equal to two y square divided by y square x. This is two divided by x. As per the theory we discussed, this is f of x we can easily take. This implies function of function of x alone. We can think like this: function of x alone. When it is a function of x alone, then integrating factor. Then i of z equal to e to the power integral. That is uh, f of x. It is dx. That is e to the power integral 2 divided by x, and then it is dx. That is equal to e to the power 2 times log x. That is equal to e to the power log of it is x square. That is only x square. <coughs> this is the integrating factor in this type 3. Then what is the next procedure? 1 into if. That means differential equation 1, you have to multiply, multiply by this integrating factor so that we expect that differential equation to be converted as uh, exact differential equation. Okay. So that gives uh, x square to be multiplied, x square uh, must be x to the power of otherwise x square into x square plus y cube plus 6x or dx plus so x, x cube uh, sorry x square into y square that is x dy equal to 0. Now your value of m will be x to the power of 4 plus uh, x square y cube plus 6 times x cube this is dx plus x into sorry y square into x cube dy equal to 0. Then you will do that uh, differentiation of m. So m is equal to x to the power of 4 plus x square y cube plus 6 times x cube. So what is the value of what is the value of uh, m uh, with respect to y? That is del, del m y del y z equal to 3 times x square y square. Similarly, n equal to y square it is x cube. Del n y it is del x 3 times x square y square. Obviously, both are same del m by del y equal to del n by del x equal to 3 times x square y square implies this is the equation to ODP ODE 2 is exact differential equation when once it is set to be exact differential equation then we can find the solution by integrating every term. Then solution is given by solution is given by this is the term integrating x to the power of 4 plus uh, solution of 2 x to the power of 4 plus x square y cube plus 6 x cube in this y is constant dx and plus of integration that is terms free from x that is no term is there then dy equal to constant then with respect to x means x to the power of 5 by 5 plus with respect to x only x cube y cube by 3 plus of 6 times x to the power of 4 by 4 plus c1 equal to c. This implies this implies one constant let me make uh, x to, that is uh, x to the power of 5 divided by 5 plus x cube y cube plus 3 
and uh, plus of 6 x to the power of 4 divided by 4 is equal to capital A where A equal to A equal to C minus C1 like that anyway C is arbitrary and C1 is also arbitrary then I will take uh, combination of these two that will be one more constant so this is the final solution but uh, you have to find out the value of arbitrary constant A that is at x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. Let me solve for the value of the constant and we check what value you are getting at x equal to 1, y is equal to 1 in 3. This you can call it as equation 3. In this equation, that means equation means solution. In this 3, you are going to take uh, uh, x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 put that that is 1 by 5 plus of 1 by 3 plus of 6 by 4 6 by 4 here equal to a then uh, you take the LCM and then you can solve that is uh, 2 that is 2 2 is a 4 and 2 3 is a 6 Therefore, 5 3 is a 15, 30 is the LCM. 6 plus 10 plus uh, 45. That is equal to A. Then A is equal to how much? 55 plus 6. 61 by 30. Therefore, final solution x to the power of 5 divided by 5 plus x cube y cube divided by 3 plus of 6 x to the power of 4 by 4 is equal to 61 by 30. This is your complete solution. So, this solution is uh, uh, exact solution and earlier one was general solution where this arbitrary constant was there. This is what the discussion in type 3. So, therefore, we have covered type 1, type 2 and type 3 and type 4 I'll, I shall discuss in my next session. Uh, you go through the extra problems of all these three cases.